Okay. Sorry about the delay for the last couple of days. I was working on a couple of things, and it's recently been brought to my attention that the audio quality has been pretty poor, and I've been kind of fiddling with the microphone trying to fix that. The problem was that the PS4 was rec um, reporting it coming in as too loud, so I was dropping the volume, you know, a little notch at a time to tell it would pop up and say, you know, just right. Well, when I did that, it sounded fine on the playback through the console, but when I upload the videos to YouTube and listen to them, I could barely hear anything at all. So I cranked the microphone back up to its uh, default setting, and hopefully that's going to work out. Anyways, here we are. This is my first attempt on, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, something of the something valley. Can't quite read the screen from here, but whatever. Let's just call him asshole. It took me a couple kills, or a couple kills, a couple attempts to, to get this guy. I thought my controller was going out at first because a lot of times I was doing rolls and still getting plowed. It wasn't until I actually watched the playback that I realized what was happening. You'll see I, I run in. Okay, that one, he, he that, that move slams me every time. I, I can't figure out the hitbox, but yeah, how I'm jumping in there under his legs his body catches me in some situations and pushes me, you know, it, re it repels me. So I think that I'm rolling under his legs to come out behind him, but because I can't see me, I can only see his body, like right here, I don't realize that I'm being pushed into the, uh, the hitbox of his swing. So that got me killed several times because, well, I mean, I couldn't see, quite frankly. I don't know how many attempts it took. Um, it, it felt like forever, but probably five tries, I think. I eventually got him at the same time that he got me. There also seems to be some type of... I don't know what. I thought it was like a, a damage aura that he had, but... It only hit me just behind his ass. There was a couple times when I rolled through him while he was doing an attack, and it wasn't until I finished the roll, came out behind him, and then suddenly I staggered, like you know, I, like I tripped on a rock or something. And you know, when I say stagger, I don't mean I, you know, stumbled back with my shield out and was open up for a hit, but. Again, like I just stumbled over a rock. I'd take a couple of steps, and then I'd be back up to normal. But I'd take a, a sliver of damage each time. That was killing me, too. I still don't know what was causing it, because it doesn't always happen when I roll past him. He was a pain in the ass. But I did get him. Whoa, that was a nice transition. Um, this is just after I got him, obviously. I... I'm now down on the, uh, what's this place called? The Undead Settlement. Running around and just checking out the new area. Another problem I have with that boss is that while I'm fighting him, it's a little more, um, what's the word? It's a little more frantic than just watching it on the screen like I am right now because I'm playing and I'm not just fighting the boss, I'm also fighting my eyesight. I do have some some pretty poor eyesight. I have a retinopathy and my eyes are very photosensitive. Bright lights can affect them like that item there. What I was doing there was showing you that at that distance I couldn't see the item. I could just see that there was some type of object on the wall that looked somehow different. There was something about it. I couldn't quite make out the, the glow of the item itself, but when I walked up closer to it, then I could see, oh, it's an item on a corpse. And fighting the, the watchdog was difficult in that he's got that blue cloud aura thing. And my eyes are focused on him. That blue aura is kind of sort of overloading my eyes in a way because he's brighter than everything else so it makes it very difficult for me to see clearly because 
of the brightness. Like, you know, if I if if he jumps off the screen and I'm trying to spin the camera around to see him, I can see it's it's kinda like the, the opposite of tunnel vision. There's a big blue spot where, you know, it's about the same size that he was in the middle of my screen. And so it's really difficult to see his tells when he's about to attack because there's a big blue spot in the way. It's particularly frustrating. Um, but also didn't help that uh, my camera sensitivity was too low, so it was harder for me to, to keep the camera on him when I was unlocked. And of course, when I'm locked, he's spinning the camera around so much that it just it really freaks. Especially my left eye. It, my left eye does not like that. My left eye is the weaker of the two. But eventually I did get him. There were some moves that I still don't know how to deal with them. Next playthrough is going to be a nightmare because he'll pull those out and I'll be like, oh, fun. Most of his moves weren't too bad. And what? Hey, look what's going on here. Yeah. Dogs come out and just start killing everybody. It's strange. I have no idea why they're doing that. Maybe there's a reason for it, but whatever it is, I don't know. Anyways, like I said, I eventually got him, but it was more of a luck kill than a skill kill. I mean, for the most part, I was doing fine, but once I got him down to about, I want to say three quarters of his health, or not two three quarters, down three quarters of his health, that's when I start running into that issue I mentioned with the um, his body pushing me back. So, yeah, that, that didn't make things too terribly easy. See here, I'm just kind of looking around, trying to see what's going on. Anyways, one of the problems I've been having with my videos is, A, I've been too timid. I don't know why. And the other one is also that I've somehow got it in my head that I need to record every single step of the journey, which is not the case, and it's probably not all that exciting to keep watching the same areas over and over again as I'm doing stupid stuff like farming and whatnot. So I'm going to try to uh, keep that to a minimum. That part right there was particularly obnoxious because I was trying to lock onto him and it wasn't letting me. I don't know why. I was clicking the stick, but nothing. So I finally just said, eh, screw it, and just beat him to death, but whatever. These guys... When I look at them, they remind me of the Dark Crystal. I don't know if any of you have seen that movie, but they remind me of those big guys that were just slowly kind of shuffling uh, along the the wasteland. And it turned out that they were actually the the light half of this particular, if I remember correctly, they were the light half of this particular species. And the antagonists in the film were the dark half, not to be confused with the Gelflings. And that one threw me off. I was like, oh, who the hell's talking? And then I noticed that guy's moving. And I said, hey, this guy seems to be moving. Lo and behold, it's a dude. See? He's a dude. He's like, what's up? So, yeah, that was exciting. You'll notice I've uh, cut the, the background off. Well, actually, I just cut the audio completely because, again, I'm not sure how YouTube is going to play this back. I tested it earlier and it seemed okay, but just to be safe, I figured I'd start this one out with just me talking, no no audio. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Hopefully someone will let me know. I, it's the first time I'd, I'd heard of it. And the sad part was is he didn't leave a comment to tell me. He went back to uh, GameFAQs and left a comment there. I wasn't looking for feedback on GameFAQs. I was looking for feedback on the video page. So it was like, I don't know, a day ago that, that he dropped the, the feedback. So I didn't even see it until a couple hours ago. Fix that. It's making the disc guy a 5-vid because yet another question popped up that people seem to be having confusion with. So when in doubt, make a vid, right? Right. Anyways, there's a lot of dudes here. And look. Homeward Bone. I did finally go underneath the tower where the Hellkite is. I kept mentioning that I hadn't done that yet. Turns out the door there was not locked, so all you gotta do is just 
haul ass to the door, open it up, go inside, and be careful. There's a treasure chest inside, but it is a mimic. Yay! Inside was a um, it's a, ba a deep deep battle axe, I think it was called. I can't remember the exact name, but it's a battle axe that does physical and dark damage. Interesting. Um, let's see, what else have I found? I found another ring. This one was in the tower behind the Firelink Shrine. Um, there is a bottom level. I'd forgotten about it, but after I killed the uh, Katana Master guy, I tried to open the door behind him, and it was locked from the other side. And the other day, I tried to open the door again, and oh yeah, that's right, it was locked from the other side. How do I get in there? So first, I sent the elevator up and kind of tried to, you know, angle the camera so I could peek down there, but all I could see was darkness. So I said, okay, let's look on the sides of that little walkway. And sure enough, there are these, I guess they're coffins sticking out of the wall that you can use as stepping stones, kind of. First time I screwed it up and fell too far and died, but the second time I made it down okay. There's another item in there, but it didn't look like I could land on the ledge safely. So I'm going to hopefully find that, I think it's a sorcery that reduces falling damage. If I can get that, then I might be able to make the, the drop. I don't know. Um, but yeah, down there was the Estus ring, which increases healing from the Estus flask. So hey, that's cool. Uh, I also found a... What was the other item I found? Oh yeah, the Astora straight sword. It's a uh, long sword with a faith requirement, but no faith scaling, oddly enough. Um, it was in a regular chest inside that uh, big room where I fought the big guy with the axe and the dogs, and that's also where I found the uh, the cell key to unlock that uh, other NPC. I went back in there and I noticed the chest, and uh, yeah, so I got it. Fun. Also found another Covenant inside, well, opposite end from where I fought the boss. If you don't go down the stairs and up to the door, but instead turn to the left and go up the stairs and up to the other door, there's an NPC in there. She told me to go down here and warned me to watch out for the watchdog. Let's see. Oh yeah, I also ran into a uh, more powerful Lothric Knight. And yeah, I ran like hell from him because my damage was like nothing. I was doing normal damage, mind you. It just was nothing on his health bar. And plus, I saw him casting spells, and I said, yeah, I don't think so. I'll deal with him later when I'm a little more confident with my uh, capabilities. So, yeah, here we are roaming this place. And I think now would be a good time for me to shut up and restart the commentary because I'm running out of time. And I'm back. So, anyways, yeah, you didn't miss a whole lot with the videos that I cut out. Some of them I, you know, kind of messed up the recording as usual. See, I've, had, I've got this really interesting issue with the P4, and I don't know what's causing it, but sometimes I double-click to record, and it, you know, recording started. It'll go for maybe four or five seconds and say, okay, recording finished. Uh, no, you're not. I just started. It's really annoying. Um, one of the, the boss fights, I was going to include it. It was my second one, but it did that to me in the middle of the fight. And I said, okay, you know what? We'll just cut the boss fight out. It's, you know, it wasn't much to watch, to be honest. Kind of embarrassing. But, again, like I said, there's a lot of those attacks. I couldn't quite see them because, you know, my, especially my left eye, it was just not having a good time. It's frustrating. It really is. It's gotten worse, obviously. Like, I, I never really ran into that problem in Dark Souls 1. In fact, uh, I... I don't think I... No, I didn't even run into it in Blood... Actually, no, that's not entirely true. There was a small problem in Bloodborne. It wasn't so much, you know, bright lights, because, you know, Bloodborne isn't exactly a bright game. But when I was fighting the, um, oh, I can't think of her, Yarnum, when I was fighting the Queen, 
some of her moves involve like what she was doing with her hands. They would let you know what she's doing, but I couldn't quite make it out. There's one move where she takes her knife out and she stabs it into her other hand. I couldn't see that move coming for the most part, unless I was close to her. Like like right up on her, then I could see it. It's it's frustrating playing these games with bad eyesight. It it adds a level of challenge that shouldn't really be there. But oh well. But hey, I did come up with my own idea for a challenge run. Alright, all you you Dark Souls pros. Here it goes. No weapons, no armor, no death, go. Yeah, that's right. Let me know how far you get. I tried myself, but there's no way in hell I'd be able to do that. Though it would be kind of cool taking down the Lords of Cinder by spanking them. So here we are in the Undead Settlement. I'm cutting all these things down because I don't know if, if they're enemies or not. And I'm running a little low on arrows. I need to do something about that. I... Let's see, we've got about seven more minutes. So I didn't really go all that far this time. I just kind of, just kind of a scouting run. I got that second bonfire activated and I ran into a circle of those um, villager dudes coming up in a, in a couple minutes. And then we got these tiny little guys, that little, that little pygmy asshole thing. Watch out for them. One of them pulled out a blow dart and started shooting at me. You'll see that in a couple of minutes. I don't know if it uh, does any build up because it didn't actually hit me, but I remember those blow dart guys back in uh, Blight Town, and I don't have fond memories of them. Does anyone have fond memories of those guys? Because I don't. I'm not a big fan of Blight Town. Yeah, you, you see how I'm always spinning the camera and looking down like that? Yeah, I can't always clearly see, so I like to change the angle up. Like I said, my left eye is... It's something of a bitch. It loves to complain. And God help me if I get shampoo in my eyes, because it takes that as like a, a, a get-out-of-jail card from Monopoly. It's just going to be an asshole all day about it. Hey, look, got some more worker garb. Didn't actually put it on to see what it looks like, but I imagine it looks like what they're wearing. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't find too much more stuff. I, I think I was fairly thrilled. There is still that one stupid item on that edge. I can't figure out how to get to it. Now, maybe I'm jumping wrong, but I can't seem to make it. Every time I try it, there's like some type of invisible barrier that I get caught on and I just drop straight down. Take some hefty fall damage. Oh well. Yeah, you'll see here, I'm like completely at a loss how to get down there because, well, there was a staircase that I didn't see on the inside. Again, bad eyesight probably frustrates the hell out of you. I know it frustrates the hell out of me. <laughs> Here I am, whiffing some more. Some things never change. Pow. Yeah, see, there's a little circle of dudes down there. I'm trying to figure out how to get to them. And then it hit me to come in here and look down there. I'm like, okay. Okay, see there. Oh, you could just barely see him for a second there. Yeah, see him down there? That's the guy with the blow dart. When in doubt, shoot him in the head with an arrow. <laughs> see, I saw that blow dart and I was like, oh crap. Flashback. I think he was the only one with a blow dart. Yeah. And then I noticed that light over there. Ah, a staircase. Like I said, it's frustrating for me too. 
especially going from a dark area to a, a you know, well-lit area. My eye does not like that. They don't handle transitions well. That's one of the things with photosensitivity. That's another problem I've been having, and I don't know what's causing it, but when I dropped down there, I was actually trying to get a plunging attack, but he didn't. He just dropped. And then after he landed, then he swung. I don't know what's causing that. Was it input lag or... Well, I guess it couldn't be my controller going out because then it would just wouldn't register the, the button at all. So I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of weird. There I am doing some creative vandalism because why not? Actually, I'm just breaking stuff in case there's something inside them. So we're coming up here on this big group of dudes. Although I should warn you, I actually went a little bit further after the video cuts off. And I found the Sunlight Covenant. Those buildings across the way from me, there's a couple of rooms in there. and I did a little bit of exploring, not much. I just wanted to see if there was a uh, bonfire just ahead didn't find one. What I did find, though, was this horrifying fat person with spells and a big iron staff that goes clunk when he or she walks. And she hits pretty hard, so yeah. Oh, and she also shoots some type of homing crap at you. It's like I don't know what it was. It was this little dark ball that made funky noises and chased me. I got away from it. Then I came back and killed her. Yeah, she's that big one right by the fire there. So, yeah. This is basically it. There's about a minute to go. This is the new area. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to stop... Uh, recording every little thing I do. Unless you guys want me to. I mean, if, if, if that's what you want to see, let me know, please. I'm trying to make this at least moderately entertaining for you, since anyone watching this, obviously, well, they're watching it to be entertained, I would think. Hey, look, shoot him in the head with an arrow. Or miss. I'm good at that, too special skill of mine. It took years to develop. So anyways, video's coming up on the end. We've got about eh, half a minute to go. Thanks for watching. Um, again, comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, like I said, I finally got some feedback, although it wasn't the best. It's just the audio quality sucks. I was like, well, that's great, so I need to listen to it and figure out what he means. He was right, but I could have used a little more descriptive you know, words. Yeah, there she is on the on the right side of the screen there. That big one. Yeah, she's nasty. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching.